the researcher here in Canada, who says that the act of imagining a workout can actually make you stronger and improve your physical performance overall. Jim Davies is my guest. He is with the Institute of Cognitive Science at Carleton University. And he joins us from Ottawa this morning. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Todd. How are you? I'm well. So how does this work? I'm very curious. If you imagine a workout, you can actually improve your overall physical performance. Can it be so? That is correct. It turns out that uh, sports and working out, we think of it as a, a body thing, but a lot of uh, sport performance is what your brain does to control your body. And when you imagine doing playing tennis or uh, you know things like that, you're actually training your brain in a similar way that you would when you're actually doing the activity. So in layman's terms, what's the science behind this, Jim? Well, the science is, is uh, mostly showing that if you make people just sit there and imagine doing the sport, they have an improved performance. So that's that's how we know that it works. Uh, if you want to talk about why why it works, um, it's because the uh, parts of your brain that control your body, uh, we use the same part of your brain whether you're doing the activity or just imagining it. So the practice is legitimate in, uh, in both cases. So if I don't go to the gym, but I sit at home and I think about going to the gym, do I get the same results? Uh, it, it adds something. So uh, the, the best way to do it, they've shown, if you want to be in peak performance, and most people aren't interested in being an Olympic athlete, but uh, if you have four hours to spend, say, trying to improve your technique, uh, it's recommended that you have 20 minutes of that time spent using just your imagination and visualizing what you're doing, and the rest of the time actually uh, performing in the real world. Uh, so if you, you know, just imagining is better than nothing, but of course, uh, it's not quite, it's not as good as, as doing the real thing, but it does supplement it. And in fact, having part of it be imagined is better than having it all be in the physical world. Ah, very cool. Okay, so it's kind of like a force multiplier then, if I can use that term. In other words, you actually do the physical workout, but you also <laughs> use your brain and you imagine. what.